Hello you guys, so you might wonder So what have you been up to the last week? And in that case I will tell you that speaking like a real Dane The Havel Faro Fiddle And again you might wonder Uh what does that mean? Basically it means speed across the field which is a Danish expression which I feel is very suiting for today's video In a minute you will know why But literally everything has been a bit speedy last week So we just won the biggest event there is The biggest, the most prestigious and the hardest We won again for the second year in a row We are the champions What do we know you're talking about? What did you win? If you watch this video up here you will know that Jungbin and I have been following Tour de France this year Since we are living in France, I feel like it's kind of obligated to just know a little bit about how it's going For two years in a row now, Denmark has the best tiger rider in the world, I would say If you win Tour de France, I think it's clear to say that you're one of the best riders in the world And Jonas Wingigo won, which is so great because my brother actually know this guy He grew up not too far away from where I grew up He started in the same cycle club as my brother And my brother actually went as a VIP to celebrate him last year in Copenhagen after he finished the tour If you do not know, in Denmark we have a crazy way of celebrating these sports stars and I'm so lucky that my brother gave me some of his footage from last year so you can see how we celebrate him because I know most of you are Koreans and I'm not sure you do this in Korea so I think you might find it interesting so yeah I will show you a bit now enjoy Last year, apparently they were in Wodes. They even have a big like statue thing in the city showing the years that Tour de France has been in Wodes. Unfortunately, this year, no. Except. So the reason why I'm sitting down and filming this video is because we were actually so lucky to catch the ladies this year. They were going to finish a race here and they were also going to start a race here. So two days we were going to be able to catch them here. It is no secret that I am a big fan of one of the riders called Cecilia. And then it was just going full gas into the Coraman and then Pam, let's put the hammer down. Also known as Sile. Down you go, la 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 la, ne, ne, and then pff, up the hill. <laughs> And then, but and also, just, you know. It's kind of funny, but she just has this kind of personality that somehow everyone just loves her. People screaming on the side like, ah! And of course, our goal was to try and find this girl. We came the first day not really knowing what went on. It's the first time we see the tour. Like, I've been watching a lot of races before because of my brother who is cycling, but this is like a different level. So, we were standing and we actually got a pretty good spot where we could see everything We were standing just after the finish line so we saw them all as they finished <sighs> I'm happy this is not me Five hours on a bike every single day for like eight days Actually, last year was the first year that there was to the Fongs for the ladies So second year this year Such a big event and I know that the ladies they feel very honored to be able to participate in to the Fongs Because it's known as like the biggest Yeah, we were definitely not gonna miss it We were watching and again, I'm so happy it's not me because whew, I would be dead They were like slowly finishing and we were standing there, we were watching everything And suddenly Jogbin spots her he was like, Sile, there's Sile, let's go. We were kind of like yelling for her to try and notice us. And I was like shaking because this is so not me. Like I'm such a shy person, but I was standing there in the midst of a hundred and hundreds of people. And I was just shouting, Cecilia. It felt so awkward. I don't know. Sile. <laughs> we didn't really know where we were headed. We just knew that probably they were going to the bus, so we followed And true enough, we ended up in front of the bus She was there and she was not in a good mood because according to herself, she did not do a good job Also, I think there were people from a lot of places around the world Definitely we heard some British people I'm pretty sure we were the only Danish people Except I saw the like biggest news channel 
in Denmark was there too. They were trying to get an interview with her. She kindly told them that she didn't feel like talking today. But luckily she wanted to talk to us and she was so sweet. Like I said, I could feel like she was not in her best mood. I tried this so many times with Jungbin, like after a bad match or something. Totally the same expression. So for me it was kind of like, this is my job. This is what I'm good at. So I went to her, I talked to her, I lifted her up and she gave me this face. Like Jungbin, he took some pictures while I was talking to her. And I think you can pretty much tell what she was thinking and I hope it helped. It brought a little smile on her lips. I have a feeling that it's my fault that the second day she did much better. Actually, instead of watching her in Odessa, we went to LB, which is not too far away. Where's the bus? Do you think she left, Sile? She was in a much better mood. And again, we were able to talk a little bit to her. She didn't have too much time. Was thanking us for coming again since we were the only Danish people there. I just want to let her know if she did well. Mm. All in all, it was just like a really fun experience and this race is so huge, like if you ever get the change, you should totally see it. Yeah, I know it's not really a big sport in Asia. We did see one Asian girl and I did look her up afterwards. She was from Japan and I think it's so cool, like from all over the world. I wonder how many nationalities were gathered there, but yeah, I thought it was kind of cool to share our little experience. And because I feel like it's such a cool sport like my brother has been on the bike since he was like I don't know around 10 I think he's always really wanted to be serious with it but it's a really tough sport but even Jungbin was so into it he thought it was so cool so even he wanted to go the next day to watch it I feel like this was something we really had together I don't know we just love sports so she landed out as number seven out of 168 riders so I feel like that's pretty good but actually Actually, it's the same as last year so I guess she's like a good seven I think it's well done and I wonder do any of you guys watch the tour do they even show it in Korea I'm kind of curious like I used to cycle a little bit around in Korea but I felt like I almost got killed like a couple of times so I have like always owned a bike I think in Denmark there are more bikes than people so it's just normal to me doing it as a competition is totally different I feel like I really got into cycling since I watched this documentary on Netflix it really caught both me and Jongbin it's a really nice documentary and I will also recommend you guys to watch that one thank you guys for watching this video I don't know if you found it interesting but it was a cool experience for us so that's why I wanted to share we will see you next week Bye bye!